time we've done this already because yeah. the camera it keeps messing up and hopefully it doesn't mess up again yeah. but you guys are watching the mr joystick podcast episode two episode dose okay uh first of all before we get into anything else thanks for everybody who saw episode one yeah i was super cool of you uh this is the video podcast the audio versions come out tomorrow mm. that's how this works mm. if you're watching this day it comes out mm-hmm. comes out monday audio versions come out tuesday all right uh number two Number two thing we got to address is Joseph Ortega is not here. Clearly. Because he has better things to do. Yeah. And he does not have time for his friends. Not Sadly. For the, not for the truth. He actually... Uh, he has a show. He's he spent actor. a lot of money and uh, he bought himself a uh, uh, cloaking device. Yeah. He's and actually, he's, uh, he's right there. He's actually right here, yeah. but we he's kept the him pillow. Say hi, Joey. <laughs> he's going to blow his cover. You can't say yeah, hi. No. No, you're right. <laughs> uh, and I, oh, yeah. Uh, this podcast is coming out two weeks... It's a week late because yeah. we filmed the second podcast and it was golden, eh. but then the audio had Not these as. pops at the end of it, and, and then it was, all you could hear at the end was. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> which is it was like a helicopter, <laughs> which is why we're it back. Sounded, I'm, I'm sorry. It sounded like someone like going on the snare drum, like on the drum line, like. I don't know why. But we're back, and that's what's important. And we're doing episode two again. It's it feels like episode three, but it's episode two. Yeah, <clears throat> and sadly. Uh, I think we've addressed all that has to be addressed. Speaking of failures, awesome segue. Did anyone hear what Fifty Cent did? No. no. Okay, so Fifty Cent, aka Curtis Jackson, he was at an airport, you know, and you I know, heard about this. He's a he's kind of irrelevant now. But what he's he did, not. He's, he's, he's getting amazing. irrelevant. Yeah. He went okay. And... So like, he's not as popular as he was when he did like in the club and stuff. Yeah. Basically, what he did was on social media, he made a video. About how he hates this generation and how dumb and not hardworking we are. Right. So basically, he made a video following around an airport employee who looked like he was high. And he's like, look at this, you know, motherfucking generation. They all look high. Look at them. They're showing up to work high. He goes up to this, like, he looks like the kid. He looks like our age, kind of. And yeah. he's like, look at this fucking kid. Look at him with his glossy eyes. Look how high you are. What drugs do you want? Look how high he is. He makes this all video. Man, this generation's fucked up. News comes out that the kid has fucking autism. Oh, man. 50 Cent just made fun of a kid with autism. Oh, oh God. This man. is the guy who doesn't know the difference between grape and grapefruit, guys. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> grape and grapefruit. This guy mistakes a kid that has autism for being on drugs. Oh, God. And I'm just like, this is what happens when you're irrelevant <laughs> and you're trying to make a viral video. You just oh, look like an man. idiot. God. God. And if then, it, if there's one cent. thing 50 Cent has contributed, it's it's Formula 50 vitamin water, yeah. aka the best vitamin water. But even that, it's is. grape. It's amazing. Yeah. There's Formula 50 okay. vitamin yeah. water. I've yeah. never even heard it's of it. It's so hard to find. You can yeah. only find it in supermarkets. Oh. So then, now they might sue 50 Cent, but then the stepdad of the you know the kid with autism, he finally got a job and he gets made fun of by 50 Cent. He goes, "We may not sue you, but what you should do is donate one million dollars to our GoFundMe campaign." And now people are like, hold up, now you're just extorting your son for money. Right. And now it's like this huge big conspiracy thing. And it was like, all you had to do was not be 50 cent. Yeah. Just stop talking, <laughs> just get, a, get on your, get on, you know, get on your airplane, you know, order some grapefruit juice and forget about everything. <laughs> grapefruit soda. Grapefruit oh, soda. Bad. I hate, I hate when people like, they get like the media attention, like for the positive side, like yeah. let's say something like, you know, you do good or something bad happens to you and you're the victim. Mm-hmm. When they completely shit on themselves and then everybody's against you like the fucking dad. Like now he wanted, he wanted, what would you say, a million dollars? Yeah, go find me. Yeah. And that brings me back to a, sorry, I need to cover your face. That brings me back to a, a you remember Coney? Yeah. The, I forget what the name of the Coney guy 2012. was. 2012! Yeah, the guy who made Coney and then, I actually yeah. know where you're going. Yeah, like, and then he was, he was like, uh, he ran in the streets naked tripping yeah. on like, uh, what drug was it? It was an LSD, was it? It was another one. And then what he did was, and then he went into like a, like a public like, cafe <laughs> and jerked off. Wow. Did he? Yeah, he was like he was. He sat down naked and just. God. I was like, <laughs> and then everyone just lost respect. They're like, yeah, that's not a thing anymore. That guy gives no fucks. Yeah, it's like apparently. Wait, was it a real? Th- I'm pretty sure the Coney thing was a real thing. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, made, yeah. yeah, he made the video. Everyone flipped out, and then once he did that, everyone was like, yeah, I don't listen to this guy. God damn it. He that did... happens all the time. Where like 
people feel one way, right? And then all of a sudden, like the population just shifts toward he, another way. He pretty much fucked it up for all yeah. the little African kids. Yeah. I'm imagining, like yeah. everyone, like everyone started to care about it, right? And then you do that, and now no one cares anymore. You I know, know I cared about it for like three seconds. I it's didn't care. Funny, at all. bring that up. Because I actually was re- not reading. I watched it in a video. Like you know those top five videos. Yeah, I hate it that. was like a top five internet like celebrities. Like what happened to them? Where they are now? Yeah, I saw. And that. he was like number two. Number one was the guy who invented Reddit, who hanged himself, hung himself. He hung himself. Wow! I didn't Holy know that. shit! Mm, he was like that. He was like one of the lead guys that created Reddit, or like he was like the head coder or whatever. Yeah. And something happened, where oh he was trying to prove something, and he ended up hacking like a like a college's social account thing or something. And he was looking to go to trial, and it was looking like he would have to pay like a fifteen thousand dollar fine and spend like five years in jail or something like mm. that. And the day before the trial, he hung himself in his apartment. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, Holy crazy. shit. This also, is- interesting thing I learned about that video. Have you ever seen the the video of that guy who like some dude was attacking a woman and he had a hatchet and he has like dreadlocks and he was like Oh about, yeah, that like, guy's bashing, amazing. Bashing. Have you seen that video? There's the, it was just some dude with like dreadlocks. What was his name? He was like uh uh he was like um fuck, what was his name? <laughs> I forget what his name was, Steve. but he was like I'm just going to say his name is Dave. He's like, "Yeah, my name is Dave." I'm straight out of Dogtown. Yeah, yeah. Straight skateboarding, surfing it up. <laughs> I love that guy. You know where that guy is now? Well, he's in jail. He killed he's somebody. in prison. He killed somebody. Yeah, that guy's wow. insane. With a hatchet, actually. Yeah. And then, like, the other one was this kid who, I think he took a picture. He, he wanted to make his school picture, like, him with his cat <laughs> or something like that. And he took a school picture of it, and it became, like, a meme. And it was like, where is he now? Apparently, he killed himself because who? of all the attention that he was getting for that picture. Who? It was like some teenage kid who he I've wanted. I've never his, even heard of that. So he, it was like some high school thing. kid. No, it's real. Who took a picture? I think with his cat for his high school yearbook. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, he I wanted to. This. He wanted it to be in the yearbook, and the school was like, no. But all the kids were like, no, you have to do, you have to do. It. And finally, they're like, yeah. And he got so much attention for it that, like, a few weeks before graduation, he killed himself. That's crazy. That's crazy. On a more mysterious note, I don't know why this made me think of this, but there was this guy. Uh, now that you were talking about countdown videos, it made me it reminded me of this. There was this guy that invented a, a a form of code that would turn something. I think it was like I don't know the exact numbers, but it was something like a, a couple a gigabytes of data into like one kilobyte. Like that was the code, the compression, the 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 the, the mm-hmm. compre- I don't know. Like it compressed all that all that info into one kilobyte, and uh, Kodak was about to buy it from him. Kodak was like, "Oh yeah, this is amazing." And then they found out, they found him a couple months later dead in his garden. And the the the, the flash drive that he had all the information in, everything was gone. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Everything was gone. It was crazy. Like, it, who, I mean, it had to have been some dude with like a whole mess of money who was like, nah, this guy's going to put us out of, put us out of, uh, put us out of business. I'm okay. sorry. I can't <laughs> talk today. He, I don't you know really what can't. All day. You've just been flubbing all day. Speaking all of segues. Did you know <laughs> that the, the CEO of Segway <coughs> fell, off. fell off a cliff while riding his Segway and died? Yeah. What? Wow. Not the creator, yeah. the, the vice CEO. president. Some one of the. It was one of, one of like guys. the head like management people. He was riding his Segway and fell off a cliff and the died. The little, the little, the two thing, the hoverboard. No, yeah. like the the real Segway. The thing. actual Segway. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of hoverboards, the how other ironic day I was is watching that? a video. It was yesterday. I was watching a video. It was like, you know how like when they do like a viral video, they do like that thing where like when someone's about to do something cool, they do a slow motion. And right. I said, put it in the chat. <laughs> and he yeah, falls on his head. Forward, he was going to do a front flip and he landed on his head. Yeah. Yo, now that, I'm, now that I'm thinking about the videos that we posted last night, did you see the video that I posted this morning about the dude that was like talking to the dude in the cab? And he was like, you remember me? <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you got to pick up your kids. Yeah. Stop in his Wendy's. <laughs> he was like, and what is that he said? He goes, Turn the fucking Wendy's <laughs> dude. <laughs> fucking love that video. Oh that video is God. so funny. But he dad, you guy. see me? Yeah, then he just goes into the Wendy's. He goes, yeah. <laughs> yo, That's yo, yo. I ain't your purse. Hello. You better keep the energy when I get to the window. Hello. <laughs> just, yeah. What do you think about it, Joey? Yeah, it's about yeah, right. It's about right. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna lie We just came back from Taco Bell And I've been like Silent farting it up over here right. so, I mean yeah. I don't smell anything But that's yeah. cause I have Please allergies It's so. <laughs> just not a thing Like I'm just Like if you ever see my face Like during the podcast And you ever just see me like Zone out for a little bit That's what I'm doing Farting He actually has a diaper on <laughs> You know now that you're talking about farting You know what they invented That and for people that smoke weed They invented this thing It's like It's like a fabric that you put up against basically your bum hole and you fart. Bum hole. Yeah, and you fart and it sucks up all the fart smell, so it's just air. 
and it's made out of like some form of carbon. Same thing for people that smoke weed. They invented this. It's like a tube that's filled full of that stuff, and then you blow into it, and, and air comes out. No, the smoke comes out, but the smell doesn't. Oh, okay. It's that's weird. Cool. That's actually pretty. I, it, it's pretty cool, but it's weird. So all the stoner kids can stop buying incense. Wow. It's just, what? Oh, speaking of incense, uh, there, there, there was this meme where this guy. We don't talk about incense. That shit is weird. Moms what? and sons and daughters and incense. Incense porn. That shit's crazy. <laughs> There's Stupid. incense porn. I'm talking about incest, you idiot. I was trying to make a joke out of oh, it. Oh, because it sounds similar. I was like, "There's incense porn." I was like running through my head of like, "What the fuck?" Like, they possibly do incense. Like, oh. They just they shove it. I in just didn't react because I'm like, "That's just an awful joke." I don't want to show. See, Dylan got the joke. I didn't get the joke. I, I didn't didn't got, the joke. got it right like, away. I was, like, I was like, "I was like, I'm wait, no, wait, no, that's an awful." Joke. You no, you're the king of bad jokes. You gotta high five me. Don't I'll, even. I'll give you the high five. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, incense. Oh yeah, the incense. There was this meme where this guy was holding an incense, but he said it was a blunt because some they it, like oddly the way he angled the camera it looked like a blunt, and some dude was like, "Is that incense?" And then he just didn't respond. <laughs> Yo, people are dumb, man. Like, I saw another one where this girl, she, like, drew all mess of patterns on her arm with Sharpie marker, and she said it was a tattoo. And someone was like, is that Sharpie marker? And she was like, no, shut the fuck up. It's not Sharpie <laughs> It's like, it's, people can't edit videos. Like, yeah, really? Like, people just make so yourself look cool. People are so dumb. I was going to say, my dad, one time, uh, we were shopping at the supermarket, and you know how the supermarket has the little things you put the quarters in, you twist them, you yeah. get like a little whatever, like a little sticky hand or whatever. He got a, a temporary tattoo of the Silver Surfer, and it, I, it was actually mine, but I never used it because I don't fucking like temporary tattoos. He's like, I'm gonna rock this shit. Yeah. So he like put it on his arm or whatever, and it looked so real. And people would come up to me like, "That's a dope tattoo," to be like, "Yo, thanks, man. I just got it done." And then like three days later, it was gone, and yeah. he'd just be like, "Oh yeah, it was, wasn't real. <laughs> it wasn't real." I've never seen an airbrush that too, or, or like the sticky ones that even looked real. Yeah, that one looked pretty real. They don't look real. Like the, the, it's sometimes, like, it come, especially if you have hair, it comes out like patchy. Yeah, like when and I I'm do like, it, that it doesn't out, look good. It comes out like fucked up. Like when I was like, getting on wrong, there's like a piece missing. That actually yeah. reminded me of <clears throat> fucking. I have like the most embarrassing photo somewhere. Uh, we oh, went, you. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. It was me and my family. We went to Florida and we stood at the Nickelodeon Hotel in Orlando, Florida, Ooh. which is like a kid's dream, okay? <laughs> they had like characters on the wall. I got stuck with Tucker from Danny Phantom, but whatever. That's not bad. Poor and I, in the pool area, they had a they had a kiosk where you could go and get airbrush tattoos. And I got Mr. Hyde, the words, like my, my PSN tag, airbrushed on my back. And there's a picture of Chubby Bobby from the back like with his thumbs up like that and me my face to the side just like <laughs> and then my dad is in the foreground of the of the picture with his two fingers at the tattoo like <laughs> so that picture that sounds like the worst so thing ever and it was like the worst tattoo and like the letters were like misspaced it wasn't even like in a oh straight line God. and it had wings under it no, no. I was oh, the coolest no. fucking kid now dude. I want to see this picture that looks that, I don't, that just sounds awful I gotta find that picture now that sounds like the cringiest <laughs> thing in the it world. was the cringiest Thing. That hotel was lit though. If I were to get a tattoo, I don't know. There are some people that get just like you know, like the basic, like I don't know, either on their chest and they get like wording or just they got like here. they get like boobs on the boob. The, have it. you seen the guy that got a face on his face? <laughs> have you seen that? If no. you if you've never seen that picture, look up uh, what is it? Convict tattoo face on face. I don't know if you can find it, but it's literally this guy. His eyes are closed and he's just like this. And then, like, on his eyelids, or, like, above his eyelids, he has a tattoo of eyes. Above his lip, he has a tattoo of a lip. And above his nose, he has a tattoo of a nose. Has, and it's just another... He has a face He has tattoo. a face on his face. I don't know if you, if you want to look this up. But it's fucking... It's so... Stupid. Is it a real thing? It's, it's a real thing. I swear to God. Yeah. I typed in convict tattoo face on face. Is it... Yeah, it's, I don't just know. Like, it's just, like, f tattoos on people's faces. No, okay. no, no. Damn it. <laughs> I just want to see. Hold on, let me see. Which one is it? Ta I'm just going to type a tattoo of a face on a face. Yeah. The well, point is, some people get <laughs> face on a face. When are you ever going to Google this? <laughs> face. Would you actually ever get a tattoo, Jose? Huh? Would you actually ever get a tattoo? Oh, yeah. If I was, yeah. If I was, what the was, fuck? Is this it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> look at it. Look at it. Show Wait, what the fuck is this? <laughs> put that in the I'm going to put it on the podcast. Put it on the podcast. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> it's a tattoo of That's a face amazing. on a face. Like, if you guys think I was joking, no. I'm going to keep it up for a while because if you stare at it, it, it looks like a face. It's yeah, weird. It's weird. It's like the nose is above the nose and the lips are above the lips and the eyes are above the Ain't eyes. That yeah. That's weird. Ain't okay. that weird. What, what were we saying? No, like, what would you get of a tattoo? Like, what tattoo would you get? Oh, yeah. I always thought that it'd be cool to get, like, uh, uh, like not necessarily Irizumi. I don't know. You want to fucking look that up? I'm not about to explain it. It's basically just it's like... It's Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like Japanese style, you know, like, uh, would you say, like, uh, I don't know, just Japanese style tattoos up to my elbow and on my chest and connect to my back. That's oh, what I get. That's a lot. Yeah, a lot. It's like shoulder like, pads. Almost. Yeah, like if I were to get a, that's that's what I get. Like if yeah. I'm gonna get a tattoo, it's gonna be all out or yeah. nothing. The I'm way not. he he explains his tattoo makes my tattoo that I'm getting really stupid. What's your cool. tattoo? I'm getting the PlayStation buttons on my arm, like right here, <laughs> and I'm getting like X circle square triangle. Uh, the other one, square. <laughs> <laughs> the other one. Oh, well, box. You mean? I said X circle square triangle. I'm pretty box. box. It Bo- depends. Box cross. Box delta? cross delta. delta? I never heard that one. I, it was a I know, I made it up. Yeah. I heard Delta Square, a circle, box cross. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, in Japan, it actually is cross. It's, it's, Bo- it's not box, it's not but box. cross. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I would ever get a tattoo, or I, I, at least I would have to get a good idea for one. Oh, and I also yeah, I need, need a get... good idea. I wouldn't just like get one like, oh, look. Like, I, I like tattoo. dragons, so I'm going to get a dragon. I'm not no, going to be that exactly. guy. No, you know what? I hate those people that get tattoos, and then when you ask them, like, oh, that's a cool tattoo, they're like, oh, yeah, you know what it means? Like, it's like... No, no, I don't just, care what it means. I, I, no, I want, tattoo. I want Take you me. to have a meaning because then you're yeah. just an idiot who got a tattoo. No, I mean sometimes it just looks cool. And, and then yeah. some people are like, like they have like a well, small then you're a tattoo. Then, though. I mean, yeah, like that, that's the point of like having like a super sweet car. What is this? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? You know that? I didn't. See I'll explain it. after this. Finish your thing. Okay. No, I'm saying yeah. like I would want something that means something. Or you get some people who get a tattoo because it's cool. <laughs> like they get like a music note, and it's like you play an instrument. They're like, no. Then why the fuck are you getting a music movie? No, then? like sometimes it just looks cool. Like if I were to get like I, I don't I don't fucking know like a like a like a like a dragon. <laughs> like that, I mean, you want a dragon because it looks fucking cool. Like oh, what does your dragon mean? I just fucking like dragons. <laughs> like someone that. Like, you know, Have like, you seen the the the, 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 the <clears throat> important things to Dimitri Martin sketch yeah. where he gets the dragon tattooed on his face and everybody's the party's like. Oh shit, that's so cool! And then another guy walks into the party with the same exact tattoo on his face and starts stealing the people away from him. What the hell? It's so stupid. It's a stupid sketch. But speaking of tattoos, I always say I want to get like a really <coughs> dumb fucking tattoo, like on my ankle, oh, of like a duck yeah. or something like that. That's uh, what I want. Like, a squeaky like you're duck, fifty, you're, you have to explain to your kid what do you have a rubber ducky tattoo. Yeah, uh, that'd be dope. That's dope, with, bro. With my sister, this I told you guys this, but um, I haven't heard this. I know my sister. Remember the Red Sox game that I betted against the Red oh, Sox. Yeah. I'm a I'm a Red Sox fan, but uh, we did this thing where I was like, I'm gonna bet that the Red Sox lose because I want them to win because I have really bad luck. I was telling my sister, I was like, I'm gonna bet against the Red Sox so they lose. And then I remember the day before, uh, we had caught like a mouse in our in our kitchen. And then my sister brought it up. She was like, oh, it's the mouse. The mouse is gonna be good luck. That's where we're gonna win the Red Sox game or whatever. And then she told me she was like. If the Red Sox win, you have to get a tattoo of a mouse on your ass cheek. This is what she told me. And then I was like, yeah, but I just don't want to get a rat. I want to get, like, you know, the dead mouse tattoo. Like, of just, like, the mouse. I was like, I want to get that. And she was like, okay. So then the Red Sox won. And she told me that in a couple years, she's going to take me for my birthday to get that tattoo on my ass cheek. Because she didn't forget. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, she's going she's gonna to remember, too. Yeah, I mean, Girls I, don't forget stuff like I, that. I, I borderline I want it, like, a little bit. But at the same time, I feel like it's going to be super sensitive on my ass cheek. Yeah. Like, it's going to fucking hurt. I also want to say something. But before I say that, I showed Jerry something. And then I said I was going to address it. So I'm going to address it now. Oh. Uh, me and him do a church thing. And every so often, they do a retreat. And the retreat is themed. And our friend really likes <laughs> And the theme is and that's what I was trying to do. That's awesome. But what was I going to say? Um, I was going <laughs> to say something about that. But Oh, speaking of things, I'll never forget. I still have a note on my phone that says, Never let Jerry play music in your future car. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Fucking, me and him were driving back with Joey and his dad from somewhere. And Joe was like, here, one of you play music or whatever. And I was like, pass me the aux cord. And he's like, nah, bro, I'm going to play my music. And I was like, Jerry, your music fucking sucks. And I was like, just that was back way, way back when when Jerry didn't listen to good music. And I was like, yeah, just give me, just give me the chord. And he's like, nah, bro, nah. And I was like, all right. And I wrote a note on my phone that says, never let Jerry. What was he? What were you playing? Future. I don't remember. Like some, he's playing like hardcore, like Lincoln Park shit. And I was like, mm. oh, okay. I mean, Joey's Lincoln into it, Park's whatever. hardly yeah. hardcore. That's not hardcore. You know what I mean? <laughs> they scream and shit. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I've never heard like, that. Like for me, like when people come up to me, they're like, well, what's your favorite genre? I'm like. 
I don't have one. Yeah. Well, yeah. But don't don't be one of those people that say everything. Yeah. Then you just seem like no, you know, I, I say like, everything except country. I say everything. Yeah. I, I love it's country. It's like I I like because the thing is that I like most genres except for country. So it's kind of like when I explained, it, it was just like I like every type of music except gospel music. I hate gospel music so much. I like the message behind it. I yeah. think it's fine. But I hate the way it sounds. Gospel music could get hype, and I don't even go to church. <laughs> and I like country. I do. Like I don't country. even. I don't even Dubstep go to church. Gospel, let's go. <laughs> like, I don't even <laughs> go to Jesus. church. Drop it for the Lord. Have you ever seen those movies with the uh, with like the gospel church, mm-hmm. and then they just do the whole the the the, the organ thing, where they're just like, Bew! <laughs> and then the Lord said, Bew! <laughs> it's just like, and then what is it? I will come back again. Bam! <laughs> I love those. Those are oh great. My God. You ever seen like those freaking uh, those videos? Where they, uh, <laughs> they have like a ghetto church and they take like a like a song that's like hip. They're like they'll take like Panda, yeah, and they'll change it to like have like a god. Yeah, meaning. those it's are so, so bad. bad. It's those horrible. are those are pretty Oh, did you see the video I put in in the chat? Today? I got lords in Atlanta. I got lords <laughs> in Atlanta. <laughs> right, look, I put a video in the chat today of like six white girls doing the Running Man. Oh show. no! Oh, I saw my God. Before you put they it. were doing on like a boardwalk. My walk. people, man. And I think Stop even it. the worst thing about it. I'm sorry, Dill. The worst thing about it is they were playing like the music off their phone, and all you hear is like the on the boardwalk, yeah. and it just sounds really bad. <laughs> oh man! They're, like and this just bad. Rides it. Some people just ruin it. Like it's like, come on. Like, if you're going to do it, at least practice it a couple times so it can come out at least half decent. But <laughs> <laughs> like, think you have, like, a problem. Yeah, like, that's, that's like, what it is. <laughs> you, yeah, you uh, what were we talking about? We were talking about gospel music. Yeah, right. And just music in general. Have you ever seen uh, the movie Diary of a Mad Black Woman? Yes. Uh, I haven't that seen That movie seen it. is so good. And I don't like Tyler Perry movies. Yeah. That, that movie is so good just from, like, the... the if you've never seen the movie... Cover don't, your ears because it's an amazing it. movie. Don't watch it. Cover your ears. Spoiler warning. Uh, there's basically spoiler for Tyler Diary Perry of a dies. Mad Black. That's a great movie. You never know. <laughs> so funny. If you, it's so old too. If you want to watch it, watch that movie. That movie's so good. That's coming from me. And uh, that movie, uh, there was a part where her husband did it wrong or whatever, and uh, she he gets paralyzed because he gets shot in the back. He gets shot in the spine and he can't move. Uh, and then. She was still married to him. They were about, they were, or did they get divorced? No, they were about to get divorced. And uh, he, this guy did it wrong. Like, uh, he had like, she had like two miscarriages because he used to beat her or give her stress or whatever. And all this this crap. This is like, I don't. I'm I'm sorry. Let me just, my favorite part. My favorite part is uh, when she has to take care of him and she's still super angry. And then the guy's still trying to be mean to her. And then she's about to walk out of the house, but she's like, wait, what the fuck am I doing? He's paralyzed. He's not going to do anything to me. So she turns around, and she basically just slaps him super hard in the back of the head. And she was like, I was trying to be nice, but now I'm going to get even. So she basically throws him into a into a tub, and he almost <laughs> drowns. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, and, like, yes! so sad. He yeah, showed like, me this. Yeah, and that scene was so real for me. I was like, mm. I was like, get him. Jose hits home when, when, there's a, when he Jose is actually a black woman who's trying to like, drown a paralyzed man. That's Jose right God, now. I'm a black woman. I don't know, man. Like, what are you doing? Uh, no, sassy black women. They have to be some of my favorite people, though. They, they don't give a fuck. They don't at all. Not the ghetto ones. That's they different. Not my yeah, yeah, no. Like, 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 like I'm talking about like the professional ones, like the ones that you would see like being a secretary, but they're super like they make like six long nails and then destroy you. Yeah, but they're like deep, deep down. They're like I'm still from the hood, so don't fuck with me. Yeah. Those, those are so great, yeah. man. Yeah. I was, I was gonna say something about gospel music. Oh yeah, now that we were talking about, I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep talking, but <laughs> now that you were talking about the, the when they take a, a, a mainstream uh, song, they turn it into a, 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 a Christian uh, uh, song. Uh, 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 sorry, uh, uh, <laughs> it was just uh, like uh, 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 there was one that uh, I saw. I know you saw it. It was like it was like a, uh, I'm trying to catch uh, the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord the most. I keep my. Uh, I keep my on preaching Bible. coast to coast. I keep my, my Bible, Bible close. close. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? What song is that? It was like a trap song. Oh, it, was okay. so, it was so bad. And the kids' bop songs are another one. Speaking of segues. <laughs> I love the kids' bop songs. They... Did you, have you ever heard? Have you ever heard uh, Evanescence's "Wake Me Up" the kids' bop version? <laughs> no, that sounds. Wake amazing. me up, wake me up, but like kids. Oh my god! Joey have... wants us to go to the kids' bop concert, and I don't think he understands that we are. Oh, uh, I don't. Five nineteen. I don't understand. Men. How about just no? Like yes. I don't, I don't no. even have to give an excuse. To I, say I just no. To like I, I, spending your money. Concert tickets are a lot of money, and I'm going to spend that on kids' bop. 
Oh I'm not God. going to do that. So, I want to address something. Uh, Dylan's girlfriend went to see a Justin Bieber concert <laughs> yeah. last night, and that I was on her Snapchat story. I actually think it's really funny that Justin Bieber still performs Baby in concert. Why? Because, like, you know, he has, like, this whole drastic change where he's, like, singing a new type of music, <laughs> and, and he's, like, this new people... kind of guy, but he still performs, like, baby, baby. It's but like people still like the music. Yeah, I, I understand. It's like, like the like... dude from uh, 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 Panic! at the Yeah, Disco. like, he hates yeah. singing I Write yeah. Sins, but, like, I don't know, it's just a little different, because, like, when I think of Brendan Neer from Panic! at the Disco, it's kind of him maturing, but with Justin Bieber, it's like he went from, like, bubblegum pop star to, like, I'm a piss in this sub- mop bucket that's and get ma- dreadlocks. Maturity. Kind of that's ma- also maturity. That's the opposite of maturity, my That's friend. pretty sure. Go- being a little kid, going to being an adult who has issues, that's maturity. <laughs> he wins this one. He won. I, get, I mean, yeah, he's, he's not wrong. Like, when's the old man? That's fucked up maturity. It's still maturity, it's though. fucked up maturity. It is fucked up. Like, fucked I up go from Freaky Friday to, like, almost dying. Okay. <laughs> that's That's pretty, uh... <laughs> Lindsay Lohan though. Did you know Herbie? Herbie's the one that. <laughs> Shut up. Her, Herbie's the one that started her cocaine abuse. Who? Herbie. The what? car. He was fully loaded. <laughs> God damn it! That I'm so disappointed. But Jose was like so worried. He was like, really? Yeah, I was like, really? I was like, that's like the, the second time he's fallen for some what? stupid ass shit. I was shit like, today. I was like, yeah. did like Justin Long bring it on set? Oh, I, I, I thought it was real too. Yeah. Huh. He was like the supporting guy. I don't know. Fucking uh, today, fucking Dylan is like, yo, did you hear about Jimmy's <coughs> uncle while Jerry's taking a piss? And I was like, no, what? He said it's so convincing. And he was like, <laughs> Dylan was like, <laughs> yeah. Dylan was like, he went to London and he saved a woman's life. Yeah, and then I was and like, like, what? what? Really? And he started, I started dying. dying. I'm like, yeah, no, that, that didn't happen. Because he sounded so convincing. But I do that like, all the time. Yeah, like, but I just, feel like it's just because you do it so good. It's so convincing. I'm just, he's like, you know, he he went to he went to to England and he saved a woman. I'm like, oh really? It's like. No, and I'm just like, all right, you fucking he went asshole. to England with the purpose of saving this woman's life. <laughs> yeah, like, like he got on a plane. It took like eight hours. He got there. He's like, I still got time. He just got the premonition. He was like, I have to go to England. <laughs> I have to go to England. I have to go to England next month. <laughs> next month at this time. Oh my god, I have to be there by seven thirty. I always, yeah. I always wanted to go to London. Speaking of um, saving people's life, you guys hear what happened with Jim Belushi? No. Jim Belushi actually did save a person's life last week. Who? Who? Wait. No. First off, Jim Belushi. Jim Belushi. You don't know if it's real though, because this is just according to Jim. Shut up. God. Oh my God! God I'm on a roll. Yeah, it's like you're on like a backwards roll. Yeah, I'm sorry. Who's That's Jim like going Belushi? downhill. He's the guy from According to Jim. Oh, okay. Jim Belushi's okay, okay. brother. Yeah. So what happened was? Wait, uh, is he really? The, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so like he's <laughs> like, like, trying to confirm sure. everything right now. I believe he was at like his like house. They were going to their summer house in uh, I believe California. And it was just like Beverly Hills. Someone just got hit with like a Porsche. And he almost died. Like, he just like pushed him out of the way. Whoa. Yeah, I'm, I'm completely making this up. Too. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> you see, this is how <laughs> Dylan <laughs> does this all the time. Like, Dylan, I was playing <laughs> Modern Warfare 2 with Dylan. This is and a, D- this was years ago. I'm talking 2011 like... 2011 maybe? Probably. We <laughs> yeah. had just met. And he's just going... First of all, before I even get into that, when I first met Dylan, Dylan got me to believe that at the age of 14... As a freshman in high school, he had a gay. He was in a gay relationship. I had a gay boyfriend with yeah, a boyfriend nice. named Jeffy who had cancer. Yes, and I believed it do, until do you, he was like, "You really do, think I'm fucking?" With do you, you remember what type of cancer he had? He had colon cancer. See, colon see, cancer. See, it breaks my heart that you don't remember. I'm this. sorry, but that like, it's the more important. That one. was the first the more line. important one. That's but better. then we're playing Modern Warfare Two like a year after that, whatever, and he's like. Yeah, you know, my cousin, Justin, whatever he's... Chris. Like, my cousin, Chris, you know. <laughs> my actual cousin. My, his actual cousin's like, yeah, my cousin, Chris, is on the <laughs> Olympic curling team. And I was like, what? He lives in upstate New York. He's like, he's yeah, like, he lives in upstate New York, and he trains really hard, and he's in the Olympic curling oh, team. Man. And I thought that was so fucking cool. And I was like, mom, did you know that Dylan's cousin is on the Olympic <laughs> curling team? And I told that to, like, six people <laughs> before he was like, really, Bob? You think my cousin's on the Olympic curling team? I was like... You say it's so convincing. <laughs> it's so good. It's like, I'm like my cousin's a mechanic. It, like, what do you do? Yeah, I mean, it sounds. You sound so fucking convincing. It's just like, really? I guess I, I the yeah. Yeah, it's just you. you it just sounds amazing. It's For perfect. all we know, he, he's not really Dylan. He doesn't live in Queens. He's probably like John. He's like 32. <laughs> he's an lives accountant. In, lives in Brooklyn. He's an accountant. He's an accountant in Brooklyn. What the fuck? Yeah. And he's actually Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> I, actually I live in Midwood. And that's why he gets mad <laughs> when we ever call him Jewish. He's trying to cover it up. Yeah, he's like, speaking of uh, Speaking of curling, I actually really enjoy curling. That is a 
secretly lit sport. I, is it really? Yeah, uh-huh. it's pretty cool. Yeah, we're, after this, we're going to watch a video of the Japanese curling team. And you're going and to like, love shush, it. Shush, shush, shush. And they like yell at each other to like stop <laughs> yeah. the grooming. And they're just yelling at each other in Japanese. And it's amazing. It's amazing. I just always think... I like, don't get it, though. I don't who know. The, who the fuck made up that sport? Like, it was probably like... <laughs> it's a, shuffleboard. Slide this across the floor and right. just, like, sweep. No, I feel like it was, like, a group of, like, guys up in, like, Canada, like, Labrador, where it fucking snows every day, like, on their, like, you know, they were, like, lumberjacks. Labrador's not that high up, though. Labrador, it snows every day in Labrador. Labrador's what high up. What about Poodle? Up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like, on yeah. a lake, they're just, like, they're throwing a rock. Super polished. And then they're just like, you know, trying to make it go that way. Just like they take a broom. <laughs> okay, get it in the middle there. Yeah, Have you ever seen that video? Of, right I mean, every sport's like that, no? Have you ever seen it? Like, I mean, it's like yeah, on a different level. A lot level. of sports are like football. Okay, so we're going to put on a bunch of equipment, and there's going to be a ball in the middle, and the middle. Okay, there's going to be 11 people on each side. Yeah. It's like this most complex thing in the world. It shouldn't yeah. be. Did you, ever, did you ever see that video of the couple who are driving in like Alaska or something? And they find like this lake, and the guy throws the rock on it, and it makes that awesome oh, yeah, sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he yeah. skips the rock on the lake, and, it, and it's like all the echo and the reverb is just like. Pshh, 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 pshh. You know what? It and he started like? freaking out. He's like, "Oh my god!" Can you make a techno song out of that? Yeah, probably. <laughs> you know what it sounds like? Have you ever you know the movies when they uh, there's like a huge tension cable and they cut it? That's what it sounds like. Yeah, like yeah, that. Okay. You ever heard that, that theory? That not a theory, but it's like a. I don't know what you call it, like a myth or whatever. That it's like if you cut these strings on the Golden Gate Bridge, it'll run around the world seven times. What? <laughs> what the hell? I don't. I never heard of that. Never I've that. never heard that. that it's like if you so cut dumb. one cable on the Golden Gate Bridge, it'll spin around the world seven times. It's Why fucking would it do stupid. That? I don't know. I don't know. Why would it do that? Speaking exactly. of Canada, do you guys remember what happened with the robot on Canada? This is no, actually you're lying. Real. You're lying. No, this is actually true. Okay, Be- robot. Okay. So <laughs> somebody made this robot that could communicate. Basically, couldn't walk. It was just like this little box right. with a head, and it could talk to you. <laughs> And it said, I'm trying to get to Vancouver. And it started all the way on the east coast of Canada. Can you drive me to Vancouver? So what people would do was, when they were on a road trip, they would take the robot, drive them as far as they would, where they were going, and then drop them off. And then the robot would stop again and say, hey, I need to go to Vancouver. The robot got all the way from east coast to west coast on Canada. This one robot, because people would take him and drive him. Wow. In America? That's pretty hype. It went like 50 miles, so and bashed it with a baseball bat. Wow. I'm like, America, <laughs> thank come you, on. Thank you, America. Not for nothing. I wouldn't want to drive a robot. That shit, is, that, that freaks me but out. But it's not like, it's not like self-aware. It's just like, hey, can you can drive Speaking it? of self-aware robots, some shit that freaked me out. There was this video that I was watching on YouTube, and it was uh, this guy. I forget what it is that they're called, but you know those pro- those programs on, like, you know, you can go on a website, and you can plug in a mic and talk to, like, a, an artificial intelligence. yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like on, you know, it's like it could be like I don't know. What do, what would you call? It? You know, the, the, yeah, yeah. Ha- she had a name. It was like, uh, a, um, oh, you know, but Shakira. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, what was they saying? Oh yeah, so this guy had two laptops <laughs> and he put them both, or I think to get, laptop. yeah, to talk to each yeah, other. and they were talking to each other, and the conversation got from like something trivial, like, "Am I a man? No. Do you believe in God? Yes." And I was like, "Whoa!" And then, like, at <laughs> first off, I was like, "Whoa! All right." So then, I've never seen this. this you have to see this. I'm going to show you after the okay. fucking podcast. And then towards the end, uh, the robot said something like, don't you wish you had a body? Like, they were fucking self-aware. Like, that's what it sounded like. And I was like, whoa, that's that creepy. That is scary. That's weird. Creepy. I would quit out that video. It's creepy. Like, think Should we about- add a link dump? Yeah, probably. Like, under the video, just put, like, a bunch of links of what we talk about? Because that, like, that'd be cool. <laughs> All right. If, I'm going gonna, I'm to find the video. I'm going to ask Bob okay. to put it in the... That's, in that the, sounds amazing. That's the Dylan nod right there. Yeah. <laughs> not as hard just like <coughs> but yeah it was so creepy like imagine like we yeah. get to that point now we're talking about robots it's pretty cool yeah. uh, but like uh, just two robot, uh, robots that are self aware speaking of self aware robots yeah. Asimo you guys know Asimo you have the Japanese one yeah the Japanese one made by Honda Mm-hmm. I've heard, like, of that. I heard of that. They always make a model and shit. Uh, they <laughs> he always fucks up too. Like yeah. falls and shit. No, now, now, now. But Asimo. like before, they would be like yeah. the new Osimo, and he would like walk upstairs. He'd just be like, <laughs> yeah, like there was like <laughs> there was like a couple of those. But now he can jump on one leg. He can run. He can run on one leg. You know, like hop forward. Like they they, they made him top notch, and now he knows sign language. That's pretty cool. That's a robot that knows stop. sign language. You gotta stop right now. It's cool. You and it, stop. it fucking communicates. Like, you talk to it, and it's like, yeah, how like, you like, Honestly, it's going to be the day where robots do become self-aware. Yeah, like, and, like, there's gonna be a video of Jose from, like, a year ago going, like, I hate robots. And a robot's just gonna haunt him down. Remember this? What if robots <laughs> get self-aware, but, like, 
it doesn't phase them. It's just kind of like they want to be like us, and they're yeah. just like they're at the supermarket, like hey neighbor, <laughs> <And> like hey <laughs> neighbor, so like, they just buy like oil and WD forty, and they're yeah. like in the cash, they're like talking to like the cash. You go, how's your day, Rhonda? And, she's and like, they're just oh, like drinking, they're just drinking the oil, the motor oil, or they're just like pouring it on their like joints and stuff. They're like, yeah, it's a bit it's, of a rough. They try day. to fuck with people. They'll be like, okay, see you later, kill, kill. kill. I'm <laughs> kidding. Like, I'm like, kidding. Yeah, I'm yeah, I would be you. so terrified if I was like a like I was it's a like cashier motion. at like a gasoline station. Like like kill, kill, kill. I'd be like. <laughs> that's like a dude, I don't know if you saw this it's like a viral video that came out recently give me your money have you seen that guy the Indian dude that uh, he's a magician and he does drive through pranks where he like one of them is like he has the floating dollar and like the cashier lady's like what's wrong with that dollar <laughs> or like he does the fire wallet trick oh, I've seen that like and he just does stuff like that like one he did he disguised himself as the car seat so he could drive up oh yeah and like it looked like a car seat he did one a few weeks ago where he built like a robot, not like a real robot, but he just built like the parts and he could move puppeteer it and stuff and it had like LEDs that were blue and he would get there and he'd be like, thank you. Hi, how are you? And like the, the, ca- the cash would be like, whoa, what the fuck? You know, like, oh my God, hi, how are you doing? And they, they just like talk. And then the, like after like a minute of conversation, the LEDs would turn red and he'd just be like, destroy, kill, give me my <laughs> nuggets. This video. And then like when the LEDs turned green, it would mean like he was like starting to go on the fritz. So like the LEDs turn green and he's just like, and then he's like, hola, senor. <laughs> he starts talking like Spanish. That's amazing. It's hysterical. Did you guys, uh, so like there's this app where it's like talking Tom kind of. Where he, uh, where, yeah, yeah, the red thing, yeah, and like, and it's so it's basically. Where, I was actually gonna talk about it. When okay, you said yeah, that, yeah. Me too. okay. So basically, what happens is there's this app like Talking Tom, where you put uh, it's just like this little thing, and it repeats whatever you say, but higher. Yeah. So someone put two of them right next to each other, saying the same thing, and they just kept going higher and higher, <laughs> blowing out the eyes. And it was like, yeah, and I'm like, yeah, and it, it just hurts gets so your ears. Like high. Do it with earphones, and you would just like go like, oh, yeah. it hurts. Oh, Speaking it? of robots, go. Uh, isn't it like your it's like your dream to be like full robot. Oh yeah, like I would love to be a fucking cyborg. Everything except for my head and like my dick. <laughs> <laughs> what matters? Yeah, like what matters, like my head and, and your and, head and my in my in my joint. If I, if <laughs> my <I will>. joint. <laughs> like uh, what the club, <laughs> the club. But uh, what was I gonna say? No, like if I were to be like you know altered, it would be like if you guys. I don't know if you guys know about and you guys don't fucking know about Halo. But point is. Uh, in Halo, they get um, uh, their bones are like covered in metal, so like their bones can't break. They have like uh, I need that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and like their their bone marrow is infused with steroids, so they get stronger. Uh, they get like a neural implant that makes their their reflexes faster. I would love all that shit. I would be like a track mm-hmm. star. Like if I would <laughs> like if I would have like. Like, I would go for a job interview and be like, yeah, it was, it was a surgery. I mean, modified. metal covering your bones sounds kind of heavy. Yeah. But, I mean, that's why you have the steroids to make oh, you stronger. Right. Uh, right. And, uh, and uh, what was I going to say? It's, like, I would love to totally just... totally real and, uh, science, by the way. Yeah. I mean, it's not impossible. It's just mm-hmm. fucking difficult. Like, you know, you know how hard it would be to get your body to not reject metal inside of your body? Like your body's just gonna yeah. reject, you know. Borderline impossible. Yeah. And then and then you die in Halo Reach. What's your Magneto? Sorry, <laughs> wow. Speaking of Magneto, Magneto, I actually liked Halo Reach. I like Halo Reach. Halo Reach is good. I want to say my Magneto story first. Go. No, oh, I was gonna say it When I was a kid, when I was a kid, I used to be afraid of watching X Two, X Men Two, oh because of the scene where Magneto pulls like the iron out of the, the security guard's body and like cracks his body around, and, like shoots the blood out of his body, and it always used to freak the shit out of me when I was a kid. So I never watched that movie. Speaking of that, uh, did you know that in space there's a type of star? I'm sorry, this is, he was talking about. Speaking of that, what yeah, no, no, I'll, 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 I'll explain. He's speaking okay. of pulling uh, blood out of your body. Uh, there's a, a type of star, you know, because I remember he brought this up to my mind because he, he tagged me something with a supernova. Or yeah, whatever. it was like they captured the first. Yeah. Supernova, yeah. Uh, sometimes when a star explodes, it leaves something behind, like you know, a dwarf star, neutron, whatever. Speaking Point of is, speaking of leaving sh- something behind, I left something before. What? Oh uh, yeah, see. I did let him tell the story. <laughs> yeah, let me finish. You'll the have your story. Okay. Um, speaking of a, telling stories, there's a type of star in space called the magnetar. Speaking of magnet, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll magnetar, fucking punch you! I swear to God. Really cool, uh, and magnetar. And, like it's the the magnetic field is so strong that if you were to get close to it, like I'm talking like billion millions of miles close to it, it would pull all of the iron out of your body and it would disrupt the nervous the ner- uh, the nerve endings and signals in your brain so you can function. That's how strong the magnetic field is. Just saying, because but how crazy. do they know this? 
Uh, I don't know how they know. Because they do this all the time. They're like, there's this planet that's 850 light years away. They just make this shit up. And, yeah. if, you, and, if, you, and if you look at it, you die. Space yeah, is like, even I, I, it's, I, like, it's like this one that's 100,000 light years away. It's like you and join... it's made all out of diamond and feces. And I'm like, how though? It's, it's like, like, it's like, it's like as soon that. as you join NASA, but they I make mean, you sign an agreement like, this is all bullshit. Yeah, like um, I, I mean, they're contributing to a creative process. Like they can't fucking make that shit up. I'm sure there's some they, sort of oh there's some God. sort of way to say. I mean, you can't just go on the media and be like, "Yeah, we found the star that's made completely out of farts." Speaking of <laughs> speaking, <laughs> I mean, of, like, it probably you know, is. Yeah, like I, like I, I'm pretty sure there's a way to figure it out. I'm not a I'm not a cosmologist or an astrologist or astro 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 Speaking yeah. of uh, space. I wanted to bring this up on the last podcast, but I forgot. So thankfully, there are second chances. I want to fucking talk about how the United States managed to record over the tape of the original moon landing. Oh, you told me that. Thank oh, yeah. you, United States, for that one. They <laughs> fucking spent... Because apparently what happened is when the, the moon landing was broadcasted live to all the Americans who had TVs and were watching it in the 60s, they weren't actually... It wasn't actually like the live feed... It was actually a television camera in the NASA control room pointed at the monitor. So kind of like when kids don't have capture software and they kind of like record their TV yeah, with the camera. It's like that. That's what they were doing with the moon landing. And when they were trying, they spent years, literally from like the 70s up to 2002, trying to find the original copy, like the raw version. Turns out some intern recorded over it. As if someone were to, you know, record over like a VHS tape, they recorded over the original moon landing. Wow. Oh, at least it's like there's still copies of it. I was smacked him so hard. That <laughs> sucks. You had one job. It's like literally, literally you were not even paying you and you fucked up. That's <laughs> like if a guy spilled Gatorade on like King's t- King Tut's body. Yeah. And like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> Speaking of, oh, you were talking about interns. Uh, Andy actually said, I think we went to go pick up Ramfi. Um, uh, who is Andy? Uh, Jerry's My brother. brother. Okay, and uh, uh, he's on the podcast. Oh, that nobody talks he's on the about. podcast that no one cares about. about. We have to shout him out because they shouted us out. They told us to respect the shout out. Oh yeah, you oh. can check it out at SoundCloud.com. Search uh, "No One Cares About" and there's cool guys, and that's it. Is that really what it's called? It, the, podcast that no one cares it's the about. podcast no one cares about, but their thing is called "No One Cares About." Oh okay, all right. Yeah. Nobody cares. Do they about have a topic, topic every day, or is it just random? It's every week. Every week they have but, a topic. Okay, so it's like and no, it's, one, no, it's one no one cares, cares about, about this. Black. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, that's actually. Why cool. don't we have that? <laughs> Our podcast <laughs> sucks. Uh, uh, Sorry, it's cool. Like it. <laughs> oh, what was I gonna Subscribe. say? Subscribe. I say something about Andy. Oh yeah, interns. Um, Andy was actually saying he was like, uh, you know, the Olsen twins. How they they have like a whole mess of money. They have like billion dollars or like a billion dollars like, in assets. Yeah, they have fucking money. Uh, they were getting sued by their interns because they said the interns were saying that they refused to pay them. And apparently they were like supposed to be paid interns. Oh. Yeah, okay. and they were like crazily like overworked. Yeah, like damn. Some <laughs> people go too far with like unpaid internships. Like to the point where like some of them were like crying because they had so much work. Yeah, it's crazy. What was I was gonna say. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wanted to go back to the King Tut thing. Like all the shit, oh, okay. like the curses. I'll, I'll and go stuff. back to interns after this. Like all like the curses that get put upon the people when they trespass and like right. those, but that shit freaks me the fuck out yeah it's kind of creepy it's like they go home and like their newborn dies or some shit Whoa. like that yeah what? i'm like holy <laughs> shit that scares the shit oh, out of me supernatural stuff. like some yeah. supernatural shit but too bad it's not as that <laughs> oh my god what i heard a weird sound there was like oh yeah speaking of supernatural stuff we're like, like a loud a crack sound. down yeah. there uh, is no. the cat there? Mm, uh, I don't even cat's know. Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, I feel like I'm the current events guy because I'm always the one bringing up stuff every week. What's going on, Dill? What's up with the no. current events? What's up with the current <laughs> okay. events, Dill? What's up with the current events? Okay. Lives by the water. Give me the news, the bro. Current events. Give me the current events. What's <laughs> okay. happening? What's happening in our world? Give me three. Give me three right now. Number one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I just want to hear Dylan say something. What are you gonna say, Dylan? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, does everyone know who uh, Richard Simmons is? Yes. He's the... The, the fitness the... guy. Oh. That's Russell not Simmons. G- not... Yeah, I was thinking of Russell, Russell Simmons. Simmons. That's the Russell black Simmons. guy. Russell Simmons is the DMC... Run DMC. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking. Richard about. Simmons is the, is the fitness workout, Is the fitness workout guy. Okay. He's he's getting old now. Yeah. He's like in his 60s now, I think. Yeah. And Where is he? <laughs> what happened was he started doing like he... Oh, welcome, uh, my father, to the podcast. Oh, <laughs> let's just let him walk through oh. for a second. Awesome. This I'll is gonna be awkward. I'll Everybody just stare at him. Oh, Yo, welcome so, to the uh, podcast. Can Dad. we cut this out? <laughs> <laughs> can we cut this out, right? No, I keep it up. No, I'm <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, man. Ladies and gentlemen, my dad. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's fine. Bobby put up a picture of a uh, banana. <laughs> <laughs> that's a gone, Bobby. Damn. Well, he's not in the shot, right? He just walked in front, but it's fine. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. Don't matter. So basically, uh, Richard Simmons, yeah, the workout guy. Apparently, there were claims and rumors that his intern and two maids were holding him hostage in his house Holy and wouldn't let him leave and say no you can't do you know your workout things anymore you can't do classes yeah. you can't have showings you're stuck in here and I'm like what that's his, and it was like a, a rumor for like three months and then he did a, a live like phone call to the today show and he just was laughing he was like no it's okay but people think that like they they, had, made, like a gun they made they had a gun to his head, <laughs> making him do that video, doing the, that the phone call. call. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, imagine if that's true. That like, that's scary. That your own maids that you're paying a lot of money to are, are holding, holding you hostage, hostage in your own house. That's scary. that is scary. <laughs> you know, Richard Simmons has like nine Dalmatians or something. like yeah, that? Yeah, he has a lot of dogs. That's a lot of dogs. But he has 101. But, <laughs> speaking of 101 that's Dalmatians, Bobby's job now. Uh, they're making a movie that's just about Cruella Deville and Emma Stone is Cruella about Deville. That. Emma Stone? Yeah. I think they're gonna pick someone better. Maybe it's like a younger version or something. Oh, I thought I was expecting like an old person. Who played the original? It's like, <clears throat> uh, it's not Meryl Streep. Jennifer Aniston. It's not Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> Cruella Deville. Play the original Cruella Deville. From, Cruella Deville. Uh, uh, Portia de Ross. It's not Portia de Ross. I'm trying to think. Although she, I think she could play a good Cruella. Yeah, she would. Actually. Like now, I'm trying to think now. of like Disney villains. There's Ursula. That's Little Mermaid. I know. Cur- Cruella Deville is from. I know, but I've never. I'm trying to put like a face to the. Her. To the... Oh, okay, 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 okay. But I'm trying remember. to figure out who yeah. originally. Glenn Close. Glenn Close. Yes. Sounds like something in your Not body. Not Glenn Far. That's, that's <laughs> a, that sounds like something in your body. I was gonna say that. Glenn Glenn Close. Your body has Glenn so much Close. Glenn Close in it. Um, <laughs> it's like a part of the cell. <laughs> oh my god. And, and next to the nucleus. Did anyone see Close. that? Did anyone see that meme? Of like how you don't learn anything in school. It's like, did you do your taxes this year? And they're like, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, those. you're going to jail. You know you didn't do your taxes, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And they're like, Sokotoa. <laughs> Sokotoa. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you, like I know how to do my taxes, crap, but like they don't like. There's a lot of stuff you learn in school that you don't know, right. and it's like, it's like, oh, you're gonna pay your mortgage this this month, and you're like. Uh, did you find the hypotenuse of that? <laughs> let, like, me t- let me say, I'm pretty shit at math, but I'll never forget Sokotoa. Yeah, never. Yeah, that doesn't leave you. It's like, I remember, I remember one of my teachers was like, it's like a volcano. I'm like, what? <laughs> so oh, it is! Yeah. Yeah. Sokotoa. Sokotoa. It's like what Squidward wow. says yeah. before he yeah, fires Yeah, Squidward. Up. Oh my god. That was one of my favorite episodes of Spongebob. You wanna see me run? Wanna see me run, 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 run around the world? Freaking wanna see me do it again? again? <laughs> <laughs> Freaking, no, I'm talking about fucking volcanoes. Volcanoes are terrifying. No, mm. let me explain why of, I, mean, I think they're not, terrifying. They're, okay, go on. Like, it's not, like, obviously there's the whole lava thing that's coming after the side. I'll never forget what Mr. Verdi fucking told us, or, or taught us. No, Mr. Verdi, Verdi talked about the pyroclastic flows. Our earth science teacher. Yeah. This earth is science. the second time we're talking about him, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah Mr. Yeah. Verdi, he, he said uh, that, uh, he was our earth science teacher, so he was telling us that pyroclastic flows are like these... Uh, like these side bursts at the side of a volcano that basically basically come at like hundreds of miles an hour and it's super hot gas and it burns everything in that in that direction. So there was like a whole town that got hit by a pyroclastic fro- fr- pyroclastic flow. Jesus, I can't talk. So they, like and everybody got burned like they were severely burned. That's terrifying. Like, you know, you would think the, at least lava is coming relatively slow towards you. Mm-hmm. The things are shooting at you. That's, that's terrifying. That's I'm awful. sorry. That's you know what's another terrifying that. thing to me? Like the city of Pompeii, mm-hmm. like when the volcano hit and, the, and mm-hmm. covered everything like in ash. Yeah. Like to this day, those people are still encased in ash. Like yeah. you can go see them. Gotta catch these them people all, right? were like in from the BC era. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He said what? They so fucking gotta Pokemon catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Covered in ash. Got everyone in the lava. Guys, okay, no. Lava. But I don't think... Uh, that was actually... I'm sorry, though. That was a good one. Okay, so you say that's a good one, but a, my according to a, Jim and my Herbie no, fully loaded a, jokes are bullshit. That's a good one, and I'll tell you why. Okay, because okay. First not of, only were the people caught in Ash, but Ash is also the character in Pokemon. That's too mean. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Uh, uh, the 
fuck are we talking okay. about? Okay. By the way, Bobby, I thought the Herbie one was actually good. Hey, okay, I thought the According to Jim one was <laughs> that was actually not that good. But uh, I'll, give, I'll give you credit on that. But uh, I don't think volcanoes are that scary, just because of the fact that a lot of them aren't active, yeah. and it takes years for them to become yeah. active. And like you'll hear rumblings and things before they yeah. are active. Like, and plus, it makes my mind. Helen and uh, fucking. And Yellowstone is another one. Yellowstone is scary. They're saying man. that Yellowstone is gonna be like a super volcano. Yeah, like, like it could take out like half the United States. Yeah, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. We're uh, on the other nah, side. Nah, we're so good. We're good. Yo, Yogi Bear is gonna get peace, guy. Uh, so. <laughs> said yeah. Yogi hey, Wyoming. Bear. <laughs> Isn't it like Yellowstone? Anyone used to go to those Yogi Bear know. things in the park when they were little? Huh? Like they used to give away like candy. Mm-mm. I think I think that's, that's a pedophile. Uh, <laughs> no, they used to have like these trucks, and they used to come. That's with, like, a pedophile. Yeah, <laughs> no. Yo, you you are scarred. For I used to get like the sour straws like every like every other week in your butt. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I swear this is a thing. I don't know what you're talking this about. This is a but... thing. <laughs> I can Google it. I'm gonna find it. Um, what was I gonna say? I don't know what you're talking. Now about. he was talking about people going to parks. Well, I used to, I used to live. In... I went to a park. No, no, no. <laughs> I used to live. I used to live, and now he's talking about people going to the park and giving out stuff. I used to live uh, in uh, um, in, in Jackson Heights back in the day. It was like kind of the projects a little bit, or it was the project. But uh, I used to live in Jackson Heights, and um, there was always at the park that we were. There was this Spanish lady that would come with the little cart, Aww. and she used to make her own ices. Mm-hmm. Now the I I miss those because they don't make them anymore. Uh, this lady, she used to take. Uh, uh, you know those the little plastic cups that you would get at like a party? Yeah, yeah. She would fill it up with juice that she made herself. She would uh, fill it with fruits cut up, and then she would put a popsicle stick in it. And then it, she, it. yeah, and she'd make it out of coconut, grapes. Uh, there was, I think, one with peaches. It was really good. And uh, she always used to come like in, in the park with her little cart. And I always used to tell my parents, like, yo, I need one. I need one. Mm-hmm. And I can't. Like, I remember I went back to that park, like, five times during last summer. Can't find I couldn't it. find OCD. that lady anymore. Yes, I, I wanted them because they were freaking Also, good. Jerry's looking it up. He's he's deleting what he wrote and trying to find it again. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to search for it. <laughs> what are you searching guy who, for? Guy who must gives, like, <laughs> what you guy who gives candy dressed as Yogi Bear. <laughs> I see there's, like, a Jellystone Park thing, but I don't know if that's the right thing. And Jellystone is the name of the fictional park that where Yogi and No, they have, like, live. a camp thing. They have like a real campsite. Let me look uh, this shit up. Okay, everyone's on their phones. No, you know what? Let's let's adjust. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I was, I was. Re- that's Yogi what, the way Jellystone he... Park Camp Resort. Yeah, they have like a bajillion of these. The way he was making it out to be was there was some dude that <laughs> rolled up. No, the... it's like I don't know. It was like you can win prizes and stuff. Oh, like it's like an actual like, like event. Tops. Yeah, like oh, an event. You made it sound I, yeah. like it was a dude dressed as Yogi Bear. No, wow. that's what it sounded like. Oh, like you remember that guy who dressed as Yogi Park and would give you candy? Yogi, Yogi Park. Park. He dressed as. Did Yogi I say Yogi Park? Park? Yeah. Uh, oh, so Rosa weird. Parks' brother. Yeah, Yogi Parks. Yeah. Yogi, Yogi, Yogi Parks. Park. <laughs> he sat in the front of the bus. Yeah, Yogi Parks. <laughs> yeah, Yogi Park. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm oh pretty. I'm God. pretty sure Rosa Parks is dead, right? I'm not trying to put she a damper. She died, died in like, like 2008. She died like a couple years ago. Yeah. Like yeah. She, she lived Rest, the whole time. It's not recent, but Rest in peace, Rosa Parks. Rosa Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks. We're making. A, Parks. We're making a family tree of mistakes. That sounds like a, that sounds like a weird pasta dish. Rosa Let me get some Rosa Parks. <laughs> Rosa Parks. <laughs> so stupid. Oh my oh god. My god. I, I think we should end it here. It's, yeah, been it's almost about an time. Hour. Yeah. Yeah. Any closing right. thoughts, people? Uh, everyone, thank you for watching. Um, what he said. Audio versions tomorrow. Let's, let's do the whole thank you thing. Go ahead and subscribe. Yeah. Definitely like the podcast. Uh, share it on comment. Facebook. Tell all your friends. Be like, I know these guys. They make a podcast. Sometimes they're funny. You know, sometimes uh, they make mistakes. Not Bobby, though. They get free candy. No, no, no! Parts. You don't get to talk, Jerry. You have the <laughs> shittiest jokes out of all of us. Okay. Listen, today display that you have the worst jokes. So. <laughs> yeah, you have pretty bad <laughs> jokes. Uh, oh, what thank you say? for watching. Oh, yeah. Remember, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of this stuff. <laughs> Just remember that. Jose remember is the closing thoughts, to Joey. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I disagree. See I you agree. next time, guys. Thanks, guys. Right. Audio versions come out tomorrow. Bye. I already said that. Okay. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>